what's happening. This is my modern retrospective of the Fallout series. Now, when I say the modern retrospective, I mean the uh, modern, quote-unquote, 3D, open-world uh, Fallout games, not the old-school, isometric view of Fallout games. So I won't be talking about uh, Fallout 1, 2, Tactics. I'm talking Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, Fallout 76. Um, so let's get into it after the cut. So um, before I get into, you know, Fallout's 1, 2, 3... Sorry, uh, three, four, uh, three New Vegas, uh, four and five, uh, four and seventy-six. I guess I should first talk about uh, why I'm using, uh, I'm dividing the postmodern and pre-modern um, fallouts because um, they're made under the auspices of two completely different studios. Um, you know, Fallout. The, the under uh, you know one two and tactics was made under Interplay, which doesn't exist anymore. Interplay is a dead company. Their IPs were sold off. Uh, Earthworm Jim was sold off. Um, Fallout was sold off. Lost Vikings was sold off. Like all that stuff was sold off to other companies. So on a fire sale, if you will. So you know. Uh, Obsidian, believe it or not, wanted to uh, buy the rights to Fallout. And I think the franchise would have been better off had that happened. But <sighs> nothing's perfect. So with that being said, um, the modern Fallouts, in my opinion, are the Fallouts that are essentially like... Um, you know, uh, third first person, 3D world, um, 3D models, that type of thing. And uh, it's been a mixed bag. Well, actually, it hasn't been a mixed bag. <laughs> um, we've had four games and, well, uh, varying degrees of uh, success in these games coming out and being good. So that being said, Let's get into my retrospective of Fallout, of the modern Fallout game, starting with Fallout 3. After the cut. So, the Fallout games, uh, there's been fa four Fallout games of the quote unquote modern era. And, uh, I mean, there's basically Fallout uh, 3 under Bethesda made by Bethesda uh, Studios. Now, Fallout uh, 3, in my opinion, is okay. It's not great. It's not terrible. It's okay. Uh, the only, the biggest problem with Fallout 3, in my opinion, is that Fallout 3 is essentially, at least it feels like to me, I don't have any evidence of this, but the game essentially feels like it was made by people who were trying to ape what Interplay and Obsidian and uh, Troika, and I know officially those studios didn't work on Fallout 1 and 2, but the people who would go on to make those studios worked at Interplay and Black Isle Studios, the studios that made Fallout 1 and 2. Um, so basically, Fallout 3 feels like someone played the first two Fallout games, but didn't really understand why fans of those games liked them, so they just ate the setting and ate a poor version of the decision making, choice making, writing, um, character, characterization, but without understanding why this worked. Because um, that's basically what Fallout 3 is. It's a, basically a poor man's Fallout. Like basically, if you want to play, you know, if you, if you want to get introduced to Fallout and you don't really want to have to do the, you know, in depth thinking, or, you know, different types of ways to solve um, problems and decisions, then Fallout uh, 3 is for you. Um, you know, it's, or, you know, I would call it uh, Fallout for people who have never played a Fallout game. 
Because generally speaking, the people that I know who are like, man, Fallout 3 is great, never played a Fallout game before Fallout 3. That's basically what I've discovered. Like, because people who are like hardcore Fallout fans, they're like, eh, Fallout 3 is kind of meh. Um, so generally, the overall story of Fallout 3 is basically, for all intents and purposes, is that um, the scientist has a kid, leaves his kid, and then basically goes on a journey to uh, revitalize uh, the capital wasteland, which is basically just the area in the DMV. Uh, D.C., a little bit of Maryland, a little bit of Northern Virginia, that type of stuff. Now, since I live in this area, I'm very familiar with the area they're, they're talking about. Um, to be honest with you, Fallout 3 story is not very good. Um, the companions aren't very good. The choices that you make in the game aren't very interesting. Most of the side quests, like, on the surface seem like they'd be, oh, this is really interesting, but then you play them and you realize, oh no, this is this is trash. Um, and that's kind of like the story of Fallout uh, 3. Fallout 3 on its surface looks like, oh man, this is going to be awesome. But then you play it and you realize, oh no, this is, this is not very good. Um... And that's kind of a flaw with the franchise. So with that being said, let's keep it moving. Um, so overall, I would say Fallout 3 is a very kind of okay game. Matter of fact, I would say it's the definition of the game would be mediocre. It is mediocre, um, as in of, media, of medium quality. Um, you know, it's not great, it's not terrible, it's mediocre. It's in the middle, it's... Literally, uh, from the from the Latin of midi, meaning medium, and ochre of quality, so it's of medium quality. Um, but with that being said, I'll get into Fallout New Vegas after the cut. Now, <clears throat> shortly after the events of... Um, uh, after releasing Fallout 3, um, Bethesda starts working on Skyrim. So they get another studio to work on uh, the, uh, a game, a kind of interim game between Skyrim and Fallout 3 <clears throat> to basically kind of tie the, them over money-wise. And that's Obsidian, which is made up of a lot of former um, Interplay, Black Isle Studio uh developers um, and uh, stuff like that so scenario writers that type of thing so basically these a, a lot of the ideas for the never coming out fallout van buren um, which was basically a project that fallout uh, the fallout team at interplay was working on when interplay went under basically make it into Fallout New Vegas. And in my opinion, Fallout New Vegas is the best of the modern Fallout games. What I mean by this is it's the one that basically has the some of the best writing, some of the best villains, some of the best DLC, some of the best setting, um, you know, uh, <clears throat> you know, interesting factions. Like no one is all evil or all good in Fallout uh, New Vegas. Um, you know, everyone has their own motives for what they do. Now, that doesn't mean there aren't some really good people on either side. It just means that, you know, everyone has the reasons for what for why they do what they do. And I personally like that. Um, the overall story of Fallout New Vegas is essentially starts out as a quest for revenge. Because New Vegas, if Fallout 3 is essentially a boy trying to find his father, uh, Fallout... New Vegas is a tale of revenge. You play a courier who is delivering a package, your package gets stolen, and you're shot in the head and left for dead. But you don't die, you survive, and you're trying to get revenge, initially. However, you discover there's more to why you were shot and to basically the package you were carrying than just 
you know, your own personal uh, things. So, you know, and it's done with the excellent writing of Chris Avioni. Um, and the scenario writers and just having a team of people who are very familiar with the Fallout universe and knew how to make a really good story because Fallout New Vegas in my opinion has the better story of the series it has the better characters the better companions um, all of the companions in um, are pretty interesting Boone, Victoria uh, the grandma Nightkin who's insane. Um, mm. Your crazy ass dog. Uh, you know. Uh, just very interesting uh, companions. Okay. Um, or you could go alone. Um, so basically, Fallout New Vegas, in my opinion, like I said, is one of the better games in the series. Um, fairly well made. Um, and it actually continues the ethos of what Fallout is about. See, Bethesda seems to think that Fallout is a parody of modern Western culture. That is not the point of Fallout, okay? The point of Fallout, believe it or not, is that essentially... Despite the folly of war and how people died horrifically, Fallout at its core is really, really, it's about how life goes on. Society is still trying to, is still trying to build itself. And by society trying to rebuild itself and there being rules, they're trying to prevent this from happening again. Um, by there being a rule of law, by there being a code of conduct, you know, the whole point of Fallout 3, the big thing about, Fall, uh, sorry, of Fallout New Vegas is that your character is a courier, you're one of the lifelines of society existing even in a uh, post-apocalyptic world where you, you provide, you carry packages and mail and messages from point A to point B. There's an infrastructure, there's society, this is important. Um, so yeah, Fallout New Vegas, excellent game. Perhaps, in my opinion, one of the better Fallout games. Um, the engine is a little buggy, but to be fair, it's the same engine from Fallout 3. Um, and you know, that game was made in 18 months. So, I mean, for someone to... For, for, a, for a developer, for a, for a third-party uh, development studio, independent studio, to make a game of that scope in 18 months and, you know, essentially throw that shit together and not even have the, 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 the you know, what they needed, you know, with a with a buggy ass glitchy ass fucking engine like the luminous engine they did the best they could all right like it, it would be unfair to be like oh man that game's really buggy they made it in 18 months and it was a smaller studio and they weren't intimately familiar with that fucking engine like bethesda was not that bethesda has ever made a game with that engine that wasn't a buggy piece of shit either so you know <laughs> and they have way more development time on their games typically than, uh, you know, another studio. So, you know, don't give me that shit. Oh, it's buggy. Well, you know, they did the best they could. So anyway, uh, it's one of my personal favorite games um, in the series. And, I mean, I don't think, you know, the next game in the series, Fallout 4, doesn't even come close, in my opinion. But we'll get to that after the cut. So, Fallout 4, uh, <laughs> boy, Fallout 4 is terrible. It is what I like to call a steaming pile of dog shit. Um, like, Fallout 4 not only, Fallout 4 not only is not a good game, but Fallout 4...
Fallout, Fallout 4 suffers from just being badly designed. Um, it has a lot of disparate gameplay systems that don't come together very well. For example, um, you know, uh, a lot of people who are fans of Fallout 4 say, well, the weapon crafting system is really good. There is no point in that fucking game where you absolutely need to craft a weapon that's going to do extra damage to certain types of enemies. I mean, it would be cool if, okay, well, you know, I essentially need to craft a weapon that's going to do extra damage to super mutants because i got to fight super mutants. No, don't need to do that. Um, or, oh, man, I have to craft a weapon that's going to do extra damage to ghouls because I'm going to be going to an area that has a lot of ghouls. None of... It has this awesome crafting system. Yeah, that's unnecessary. Um, you have a cra you have a uh, settlement system where you can essentially uh, build little settlements around the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and literally, it's like you have no reason to do any of this shit. Like it, there's only like two side quests in the game where you absolutely have to have to uh, build, like actually build a proper settlement. Aside from that, you never have to do anything. So essentially, Bethesda spent time and energy building gameplay systems that in no way, shape, or form are integral to the overall uh, game uh, point of the entire game. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Um, like, the game is basically just not very well designed. Um, now, one of the key points, in, and I'm going to use uh, Fallout New Vegas as a comparison. In Fallout New Vegas, there's a point in the game where you have to unite all these different factions to take on uh, Caesar's Legion. <clears throat> or unite all these different factions to take on uh, the NCR. Or unite various factions in order to double-cross them in order. Basically, there's like five different endings in New Vegas. But basically, you have to do these various things where your actions with these different factions actually served a purpose. <clears throat> they did something cool. In this game, your actions serve no purpose. <clears throat> you can either you can either uh, help one person or help someone else. There's no there's no there's there, there, there's there's no um, real uh, impetus for your character to do anything that helps the gaming world. Um, not only that, but the overall story of Fallout 4 is trash. Um, you know, if Fallout 3's story was a boy trying to find his father, Fallout 4... <laughs> Fallout 4 is a man, a father trying to find his son. And I'm going to, you know, this game is, what, by this point, almost three or four years old now, so I can just say it. Fallout 4 story, you know, basically, the overall plot of this story and how it's going to end in the first ten minutes of the game. Like, the first opening cutscene, you know exactly what's going to happen. I mean, it is not, it's not fun. It's, 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 it's actually kind of fucking stupid. Um... Which leads me to Fallout 76 after the cut. So Fallout 76 is, <laughs> it's first of all, let's just get this clear. Fallout 76 is published by Bethesda. It's under the Bethesda moniker, but a studio that Bethesda bought made Fallout 76. And Fallout 76 is trash. Uh, it is a steaming pile of dog shit. Um, you know, uh, <clears throat> basically it's, it's Bethesda essentially trying to milk a franchise. Fallout has never been a franchise that really responds to what, well to milking because, I mean, you know, Fallout Tactics was a milking game for the Fallout franchise, and most people who are into Fallout, you know, especially the old school Fallouts, really didn't like that one because it was a very cynical cash in game to a lot of people. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, Fallout 76. I mean, you know, I don't have that game. I played about 30 minutes of the game at a friend's house uh, when it came out, and uh, that game is 
not good. Um, you know, I know there are people who are like, I bought that game and I had fun with it. Look, okay, just because you enjoy something doesn't make it a good thing, okay? Meth addicts love methamphetamines. Meth isn't good. You know, crackheads like crack. It's enjoyable. Doesn't make it a good thing, okay? So, you know, am I disavowing people enjoying, uh, you know, Fallout 76? No. Enjoy it. Still, it's, it's trash. <laughs> you know, and, you know, if you enjoy trash, enjoy it. But, I mean, I wouldn't buy that shit if you paid me. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, Fallout 76 is, I mean, we all saw the things. It, that game is still not where it should have been. Um, basically, Bethesda shat that game out in order to meet a deadline so that they could basically make some money, um, generate some revenue. Now, you know, as a business owner, I have nothing against people trying to make money. I do have something against people, something against people putting out an inferior product in order to beat a deadline. Um, which is what Fallout 76 is. It's it's a product that they kind of shut out, uh, damn the consequences, and they were hoping that people would buy it because it had the Fallout name. Fallout is not that type of game. It's not that type of. It's not. It's not a. It's not a FIFA or a Madden where people will buy those games in the millions of you know the tens of millions of column just because it has that name attached to it. Fallout's not that type of game. It's always been relatively niche. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's just like that. So, Fallout 76 uh, was essentially a multiplayer Fallout game, um, which nobody was asking for, uh, I don't think. Like, no, 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 no hardcore fan of Fallout was saying, hey, man, even the people who got on board with Fallout 3 were like, yeah, I want to play a Fallout game with other people. <laughs> and yet they tried to do that. They they essentially add they added something that no one was asking for, which is a recipe for disaster when it comes to, uh, you know, products. You know, hey, let's create let's let's uh, there's no market for this, but let's create a product that there's no market for and no one's asking for. Yeah, why not? And then act surprised when the shit fails. So, I mean, and you factor in, you know, basically Fallout 76 not being a very well-made game, um, all the numerous bugs and glitches, the, the controversy, uh, the broken nature of the game at launch, and how even a year in it was still broken, the greedy business practices where the game was broken as hell and Bethesda's like well we're going to release a paid for uh, subscription model that's like $100 a year or like $20 a month or some shit I, I can't remember but like some egregious like uh, we're charging all this money for a broken product now here's the thing if, Beth if Fallout 76 was free to play and then they said we have a subscription model for more premium functionality I'd say okay that makes sense because there, there are things that do that um, like uh, at my local library, there is a uh, a fifteen dollar. You can pay fifteen dollars a month and get your hands on um, certain books early on. You get preferences for that. Uh, you don't get late fees uh, for certain things. Uh, you know, all types of nice little cool shit you can get. So I'm I'm okay with that. That doesn't bother me. I'm not bothered by a subscription model for something that's free. But if you're going to charge, it, like if, if you're if you if you are a developer and you have a game that is, f you know, fundamentally broken, but you have the time and energy to basically create a uh, a. Uh, a premium subscription model that's like a hundred bucks a year or something like that. That's kind of a that's kind of a dick move. But this is Bethesda. That's what they do. So Fallout seventy six to me is just symptomatic of just how Bethesda really should never have been allowed to get their hands on the Fallout franchise 
and why you know there it's time for someone else to 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 get uh to to take the mantle because clearly like Bethesda is kind of like Bethesda is overrated as a video game developer because their RPGs were never that good. Like Fallout, like like Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind. Morrowind is the most interesting Fallout. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, Elder Scrolls game, mostly because it's very different. It's in a it's set in a very alien landscape where there's a lot of different type of creatures that you normally don't see in the rest of the game in the other games, which is makes it interesting, and that's cool. But I mean. Oblivion is, I mean, it's not great. Um, it's okay. It's not great. Um, the other one is, uh, Skyrim, which is overrated as fuck. Uh, you know, and I say this as someone who's put around 500 hours into the base version of Skyrim, about 50 hours into the PS3 Skyrim, and about uh, 200 hours into Skyrim Special Edition. I've played a lot of Skyrim in my day, and Skyrim is not that good. It's not terrible, but, you know, if anyone tells you that it's one of the best Western RPGs ever created, I call bullshit. It's not. Um, it's fundamentally broken. The game is on the uh, light side in terms of content. Um, the AI is trash. The combat is trash. The engine that the game is made in is trash. And this is the same engine that Fallout 76 and 4 are in. Uh, Bethesda's overrated. Uh, and... You know, that leads to the next thing, which is the overview of the Fallout series under Bethesda's watch. So, I mean, in summary, Fallout under Bethesda has been a uh, mixed bag, to say the least. Um, there's been two games made by Bethesda proper, two games made by outside, well, not Bethesda Softworks. Um, Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 were made by Bethesda, Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 76 were made by, uh, well, Fallout New Vegas was not made by Bethesda. They published it. It was made by Obsidian. Um, Fallout 76 was made by, uh, I forget the name of the studio, but it's a studio that Bethesda bought, but they're not Bethesda proper. And, I mean, basically, I mean... You know, which leads to the second title of this video. You know, it's a quarter horse. Literally, 25% of Bethesda's game z are good, um, and that's and it's the one not made by Bethesda. Fallout 3 is mediocre. Fallout 4 is also mediocre to bad, depending on who you ask. In, in my opinion, and Fallout uh, 76 is just bad. Um, so Bethesda bought this, this, this franchise and basically ran it to the fucking ground. Um, you know, because it wasn't theirs. They didn't create it and they bought it. W what the fuck do they care about making sure it's good? Um, which is kind of sad because, you know, like I said, I'm a huge Fallout fan. Um, I like the original games. I, I can kind of enjoy tactics for what it is. Um, I like Fallout New Vegas. I don't like Fallout 3. I think it's overly simplistic and the color palette is trash. Um, Fallout 4, the story is trash. The companions are trash, by and large. I mean, I know some people are like, well, I like Press. I like uh, Nick Valentine. And I'm like, okay, good for you. Um, I wasn't impressed with the character, but, you know, to each his own. So... Basically, in summary, Fallout under Bethesda has had a falling out. <laughs> um, and, you know, it could be better, but probably not, because Bethesda has no incentive for making it good, because um, people will buy it. You know, there's a small group of people who will buy this shit regardless of how shitty it is. Uh, they do not care. You know, Bethesda... 
like the, the, the Fallout games are trash, and people will continue to buy the bad Fallout games. They do not care, which is not good. But you know, what are you going to do? You know, you know. Like I said, I don't like Fallout uh, under Bethesda uh, by and large. I mean, you know, when you only like twenty five percent of the games in a series, that's not good. But that's basically how I feel about Fallout as it is right now. I like Fallout uh, New Vegas. I could take or leave Fallout 3. Fallout 4 is trash. And Fallout 76, I mean, come on. It's, it's trash. Okay? It, it's, 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 it's trash as well. It's all trash. So, I mean, you know, Fallout is not in a good place right now. Uh, the modern Fallout games are very uh, are more misses than hits, in my opinion. And you know, you just got to do what you got to do. But I mean, I wouldn't pay money for the shit. That's just me. So with that being said, um, we'll get into upcoming events for the channel and all that stuff after the cut. Okay then, so I don't know when I'm going to upload this video, so I'm just going to give you the general announcements of the channel. Um, so the PC Game Show is this Saturday, the June 13th. Uh, I will be doing a live watch and react and comment and post show. Um, and I think it's at 12 Pacific time. Um, and then... Uh, Two Eastern Standard Time. I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll definitely be doing a live watch and all that type of stuff. So that's going to be fun. Totally worth taking advantage of. Um, also, uh, typically speaking, our normal channel for podcasting is Wednesday and Saturday. Every Wednesday and Saturday, 7.30 p.m. to 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you would like to be a part of the podcast, uh, you know, a guest, uh, a guest uh, on the cast, or if you just like to, um, you know, talk a little bit of shit or whatever, uh, you can reach me at mrredfoxbsbuster at gmail.com. That's all lowercase. Or you can reach me on uh, Twitter at mrredfox91, uh, sorry, Matthew Wesley at mrredfox91. So with that being said, um, that's the end of this video. Uh, rate, comment, share, subscribe. Ding that bell icon so you know when we're live. Um, and, you know, uh, don't be afraid to, to give your opinions about the Fallout series in the comment section. Tell me what you think about Fallout. Do you like Fallout? Do you hate Fallout? Do you think Fallout has been well treated by Bethesda? Uh, if yes, then tell me why. If not, then tell me why. I don't mind having these deep dialogues. Um, that's the end of this, pod, uh, this video. Um, remember, rate, comment, share, subscribe. This will probably be uploaded Thursday or Friday. So um, that'll be fun. But whatever. We'll do what we have to do. Peace. Good night. Arrivederci. And enjoy the rest of the video.